This is Chef's Recipe Challenge presented by Culinary Kitchen. Chef's Recipe Challenge is exactly that. One classic recipe, one local chef with one challenge. Turn that family favorite into a restaurant quality dish. We're here at Culinary Kitchen in Oklahoma City with owner Claude Rappaport. If you're looking to raise the bar on your kitchen experience, Claude and his daughter Lori can help you make that happen. We are fixing a cashew chicken with vegetable stir fry today. Very simple and quick to fix and it's very healthy as well. I've got a little bit of oil in my skillet. I'm just letting this begin to heat and I'm going to add some finely minced garlic and as well some finely minced fresh ginger. Fresh ginger has such a wonderful flavor um, and I like to use that whenever possible. Now I'm going to give this just a little bit of a stir. We're still letting our temperature come up. While this is cooking, I want to show our ginger. This is what a ginger root looks like. They come in different lengths and um, you just want to cut a little small piece off to be able to use. Peel it uh, so that you don't have the peeling in there and then mince it. Um, just in little bitty tiny pieces like we've got here. Now, this is beginning to cook nicely. Smells wonderful, doesn't it? Oh, uh, we've got our chicken breast, a pound of diced chicken breast, cut in about two inch or half inch pieces. Little bitty squares and we'll give this a stir. And I love the smell of fresh ginger cooking. Okay, we're going to let our chicken cook for about so four or five minutes just until it's completely done. We'll stir it, not consistently, but, but uh, periodically while it's cooking. And while our chicken is cooking, we, wanna, we do want to let it just get nice and brown. While that's cooking, we're going to make our sauce. And I've started with a cup of fat-free reduced sodium chicken broth that I've got right here. I'm adding two tablespoons of cornstarch. And people need to know that when, it, when you're adding cornstarch, you always want to be sure you add it to cool or room temperature liquid. You don't ever want to add it to hot. I've got reduced sodium soy sauce that I'm going to add to that. And that's a good way to be able to reduce the sodium content of a recipe. So I'm going to give this a good stir here and um, make sure that cornstarch is completely dissolved. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner off and take our chicken out. And you can take this, um, either put it in a bowl or a plate like I'm doing here. And we're just going to transfer this so that it can hold for just a while while we cook our vegetables. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more oil. Turn my burner back on, my skillet, and we'll let this get hot. And uh, then I'm going to add my vegetables. And you can use really whatever vegetables you like with this. I am choosing to use today um, the little baby corn cobbets. I've got mushrooms, sliced mushrooms, broccoli, red pepper, um, and, and julienne cut carrots. And those are just some of my favorites. Um, some sugar snap peas, snow peas um, as well. And um, so those are some of the vegetables. But if you had other favorites that you would want to use, certainly you could use them. So we're gonna cook our vegetables for just about Oh, four or five minutes maximum. We do want our vegetables to get tender, slightly brown, but we don't want them to get soggy. So we'll let this cook for just a minute. And certainly when you're using fresh vegetables um, or the frozen that are packed without any added salt, you keep your sodium in content of the recipe down considerably. So turn the burner off. I'm going to sprinkle it with cashews. We'll take our cashews and just lightly sprinkle. And there we have our dish. Take our burner out and we're ready to serve. One of the things that's so nice about a plate like this is the health benefits. 
we're looking at making choices from my plate and we have um, the whole grain. We've used a brown rice, a whole grain brown rice, so that gives us a grain serving. We've got a wide variety of vegetables. You know, the key today in the current recommendation is to have at least half of your plate fruits and vegetables, heavier on the vegetables than the fruit. We have a wide variety of vegetables in our dish here. And then of course we have some fruit too. Our, we have our orange slices um, uh, fanned and then we have some grapes and um, the chicken, which is a very lean protein source that we have in our um, stir fry. And the only thing we actually don't have from my plate is dairy. So you could add a yogurt for dessert and you've got the dairy too. So it has everything from each of the food groups on my plate.